Hi, this is Vicki with Condi Systems Tech Support. I'm going to use Corel Draw to show you how to change your files or change your version in Corel. Often in Corel Draw, when you uh, purchase an updated version or you switch versions in Corel, you would, if you were sending a file to someone who didn't have the same version as you, for instance, maybe X3 or X5, you would want to convert it to the version in which they have. Corel Draw does not always open. Um, files from earlier versions into newer versions, meaning from X4 to X5. Also, especially with version 9, version 9 is completely different as X5 is. So I want to show you how to do that because I think it's important, uh, especially in our line of work with digital imaging and vector images, that, um, that we uh, know how to do that. So. I have a template open here. This is the SLD06, uh, which is the ear warmers, uh, the new products that we have in. I've created this, so you'll have to have something on the page, of course, to save it. So I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to click Save As. And from here, I'm going to name my file. I'm going to call it SLD06. And just, uh, we're doing underscore demo. Okay. Um, now here's where you're going to save as, meaning you're going to save your file type. So you have all kinds of options in here. Um, changing your file type, changing your format uh, from CorelDRAW to Illustrator, those kind of things. So um, not just can you convert from CDR, you can convert into other formats also. We're going to go with CorelDRAW for this demo. And here is your version type. And from here, you can save the version from previous or earlier versions in Corel Draw. So it's important to know that. Um, and you're going to click the version in which you need to save it as. And uh, we're going to choose 13. And here's some advanced settings here if you want to take it a step further and um, detail the type file you're saving. Go to your general those kind of things. Um, you can read through it yourself to determine which would benefit you. Again, um, I'm not going to change anything here, but you, I do want to show you that your workspace, all that stuff, this is, this is really nice to know um, and helpful in uh, converting files and, and enhancing them in a way that uh, would be beneficial. So I'm going to cancel out of this. Um, we, we're going from X4 to an X3. You can also go to version 9, which I save a lot of our templates in version 9, because once you've saved it in version 9, um, in most cases it will open um, from into some of the later versions of Corel. So we're going to 13. You may even want to, which I do sometimes, is to label it version 13 so you know how you saved it. And then click Save. And uh, that's how you save files from uh, your current version to previous versions or later versions. Again, I hope this is helpful. This is Vicki with Condi Systems Tech Support. And as always, thank you for your time.